Happy Halloween, Sam. Happy Halloween, Dillis. I'll have 15 apples, please. Oh, Sam, looks like you're doing a spot of apple bobbing. Ha <laughs> ha, that's right. It's my favourite Halloween game. When I was young, I was a champion apple bobber. Well, fancy that. Right, I've got this really clever plan, Derek, and it will go. Happy Halloween, Norman and Derek. Happy, Happy Halloween, Halloween, Sam. Sam. So... What's this plan, then? I was just telling you. You remember last Halloween I said fire to three pumpkins? Yeah. So all my trick-or-treat sweets were taken away, apart from one custard chill. Oh. Well, this year, it'll be different. You and me are going to get every single sweet in Ponty Pandy using this go-kart and it'll... Shh! Hello, boys. Oh, Norman. You are not playing with that go-kart again. Yes, ma'am. But last time you accidentally drove into the sea. I'll be careful this time, ma'am. End up in the sea. No way. My plan's much cleverer than that. So, Elvis, you have to lift an apple out of the water. Oh, like this. No, Cridlington. You put your hands behind your back and do it with your mouth. That's apple bobbing. Oh, I see. It's not easy, is it? I'm sure I'll get the hang of it, though. Sam used to be a champion apple bobber, Station Officer Steele. He certainly did. I'm looking forward to seeing him in action again. I'm looking forward to it, too. Ah, but I suppose I should let Elvis get one apple first. <laughs> I'm getting very wet, aren't I? <laughs> Happy Halloween. Have we got our trick-or-treating masks ready? I'm a scary witch! We <laughs> are <laughs> dragons! <laughs> Boo! Well done. You all look very scary. Let's see if we can find some sweets then, shall we? Yay! Okay, Derek, you wait here. Um, which mask shall I use first? <laughs> ah! <laughs> Trick or treat! Oh! <laughs> Hello, little vampire. My first visitor. Let's get you some sweets. There you go. Bye now. Bye! Ah. Hmm. <laughs> Trick or treat! Oh! A scary monster! Lots of monsters out tonight. Oh, well, that's all I've got left. Well, hey, look at all these sweets. So, uh, what do I do, Norman? Push. Oh. Uh... <laughs> Looks like I won't get to do any champion apple bobbing this year after all, Penny. <laughs> Not unless Elvis hurries up. I hope the trick-or-treaters are having more luck. Push, Derek! Harder! That's strange. No sweets left. But Halloween night's just started. We go trick or treating if there aren't any sweets. Oh, there must be some somewhere. Dillis, we've got a little problem. I don't suppose you've got any spare sweets at the shop. Three whole boxes? <laughs> well, that's wonderful, Dillis. We'll be right along. <laughs> 
I've got every sweet in Ponty Pandy. Uh, we got them, you mean? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, custard chew? Yeah. To the shop! Sweet! What's going on? Oh, hello, Norman. What a Halloween. All the sweets in Ponty Pandy are gone. Oh, uh, really? But it's all right. There are three whole boxes back at the shop. You can have some too if you like. Some? I want them all! We've got to get there first, Derek. Give us a push, a really big one. Oh, okay, Norman. Oh. Oh. I've had enough of this. Oh. Ah. That was a big push, and it's downhill too. Norman! Uh, uh, I've got to stop this go kart or I really will! I'm stopping the sea again! Ah! Oh dear, I think I'd better call my brother. Call Fireman Sam! Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> what was that, Elvis? <laughs> I did it! <laughs> Brilliant, Elvis. I uh, don't suppose I could have a turn, could I? Norman Price and his go-kart have ended up in the sea. Hasn't that happened before? everyone. I might not have done any apple bobbing this Halloween, but it's time for some Norman bobbing instead. Norman bobbing? How do you do that? Well, you're allowed to use your hands, but you have to lean out really far and keep your balance and... Ah. Thank goodness you were safe. I warned you about that go-kart of yours. I know, ma'am. But I had this brilliant plan to get every sweet in Ponty Pandy. Every sweet in Ponty Pandy? No wonder there weren't any left. We like trick-or-treating too. Um, yes. Sorry about that. Well, Norman, maybe it's time for the others to have some sweets now? Yes. Come along, all you other trick-or-treaters. Yes! <laughs> My sweets. Sweetie? Really? For me? Oh! There it is again, see? It's a ghost. Uh, there are no such things, Dillis. A tin of green paint, please. <gasps> ah! oh! Look at that! The place is haunted, I tell you! <laughs> <laughs> Mandy flooded Norman Price. I might have known. It wasn't me. It was her. 
It was just a bit of fun. Well, it might have been fun for you, but Dillis here was scared stiff. He certainly was. My heart's beating like anything. I'm sorry. We're practising for the Halloween party tonight. Are you both coming? No, thanks, Mandy. I don't like Halloween. It gives me the creeps. That's the idea, ma'am. Uh, well, well, I'll be there uh, to oversee things, of course. Great! We've got a huge pumpkin lantern, special food, and Dad's even doing a bonfire. <laughs> yes, and I'm going to win the spooking competition. You wait and see. Is it okay if I borrow this torch and the fishing wire? Suppose so. What do you want them for? That's for me to know and you to find out. Now, it's that time of year when people have fires in their garden. <gasps> do you mean they start fires on purpose, sir? Of course I do, Cridlington. Dried leaves, old wood... It... In fact, Mike Flood is having a bonfire at his Halloween party tonight. <laughs> oh, yes. I'll be there with my Halloween mask. I don't suppose you like dressing up, do you, sir? Me? Oh, no, no, no. It's not my kind of thing at all. I'm only going because I was asked. <clears throat> uh, keep your mind on the job, Cridlington. Put that fire out! Oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> Just a bit of a tickle in my throat, that's all. Wow! That bonfire is huge, Dad! Make sure the children keep well away. We don't want any accidents. Hey! It's James and Sarah! Hello! Hi there! Let's go and find Norman. But watch out! He'll try to scare you. We're having a spooking competition and so far, I'm winning! Oh, he won't spook me! Oh, me? I'm unspookable! Oh, I am the ghost of Pontypandy! <laughs> Hello, Norman! Oh, it's not fair! I bet Mandy told you it was me. I'm the winner! I spooked your mum, but you haven't spooked anybody. Huh. Halloween's not over yet. Time to light the pumpkin lantern. Ooh! Great! <laughs> I think Dad's ready to light the bonfire now. Hooray! Mm, I need to make it look more like a ghost. <laughs> Perfect! When's everyone else getting here? I'm so happy. They'll be here soon. I know. Let's have Norman's ghost story while we're waiting. OK, but it's not a story. It really, really happened. Yes, Norman. Get on with it. 
It was a dark and stormy night, Halloween. The ghost of Pontypandy was wandering the empty streets, clanking his chains and howling. <laughs> Sounds more like a puppy than a ghost. <clears throat> the ghost, all dressed in white, went up the hill to the house where he used to live. This house. He walked right through the wall and into the living room. Then he went up to the window and took off his head. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. And he's standing there now, staring at you. Go on. I dare you to turn around and look. OK. Oh. <gasps> oh. It's a fire! Call Foam and Sam. Ooh, a, a fire in my flood house. There's a fire at the flood house, quick as you can. Is it Mike Flood's bonfire, sir? Probably. I expect it's got out of control. Who is supposed to be going there after we come off duty? Yes, so uh, I might as well come with you. Well. Bonfire, is it, Mike? No, the fire's in the sitting room. Breathing apparatus on then, men. <sighs> the fire's out. You were lucky it wasn't worse. Thanks, Sam. Thanks so much. Do you know how it started? It was my fault. I put a cloth over the pumpkin to make it look like the ghost of Ponty Pandy. And actually, Sam, I left the candle burning. <sighs> you shouldn't go out and leave a candle burning. And you should never put a cloth over a naked flame. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do it. I just wanted to win the spooking competition, that's all. It was an accident, Norman. We understand. But I'm afraid the fire's made quite a lot of mess. I'll clear it all up. I'll help. And me? Why don't we all help? Great. Thanks, everyone. And remember, Norman, there's a time and a place for spooking people. OK, Sam. I promise. Like now! <laughs> I think we have a winner! <laughs> Not much of a fishing trip, Sam. We didn't catch a thing. Nonsense, Charlie. At least the sea was calm. Being out there was so relaxing. It may look calm, but you can easily get into trouble if you're not careful. Talking of trouble... Just because Sarah's a girl doesn't mean she can't be the captain. Pirate captains have beards. Where's Sarah's? Where's, Where's yours? yours? Throwing. What's up, kids? We're playing pirates. And I'm Captain Norman. It's my turn to be captain. <laughs> when we were kids, Charlie and I played pirates at the cave on the beach. <laughs> yeah. And we were both captains. Both captains? And we always had a pirate's picnic. <gasps> Shiver me seashells! Can we have a pirate picnic, Dad? Why, Captain Sarah! Yonder, four, under, 
Sweep that floor. No, not here! Sorry, sir. Off you go, shoo! <laughs> I think Lion likes you, sir. A fire station is no place for a cat. Anyway, shouldn't you be taking radar for his walk, Riddlington? It's on my to-do list, sir. <laughs> Make better captains, and I'm a boy, get it? Will I see thee do it? <laughs> hey, you lot, give me a hand. Look what Mum made us. Wow! I've never seen so many sandwiches. Come on, James. Let's leave the girly pirates to make sandcastles. We've got a ship to sail and treasure to plunder. I'll show them who's the best pirate in Ponty Pandy. Good riddance! What about the pirate's picnic? Leave that to me, me hearty. <laughs> Ooh, a meal for steel. <laughs> Ooh, shoo! Take your eyes off my tuna sandwich. Told you boys make better pirates. Let's plunder that treasure, James. Feels heavier. Let's get it back to the skiff. Great idea, Mandy. Yes. They're going to get a shock when they open the pirates' picnic, Captain Sarah. <laughs> should go out alone, Captain. Oi! The sea be calm. And the girls will never get to us out here. It's what proper pirates do. Uh, you know, I'm tired out. Me too. Uh, so I'll be taking a pirate's nap. War. Go home! Yes, yes, top, top! Hello, sir. Got a new friend? No, Sam. I've got a pest. <laughs> he thinks he's the fire station cat, Sam. <laughs> Come on, Lion. Let's get you home. <laughs> Lion, no! Radar won't hurt you. Oh, dear. Oh, well done, Cridlington. I'll get him out, sir. Here, puss, 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 puss. What we need is some food to draw him out, sir. Good thinking, Sam. Yes, something fishy. Absolutely. But I haven't been shopping. The fridge is empty. <laughs> ah. Have you got anything fishy, sir? Ah, uh, it's always my sandwiches, I suppose. Picnic! Uh, oh, rocks! Norman, wake up! Oh, what? What? No wonder the hamper was heavy. Those sneaky girls filled it with rocks. Never mind the picnic. Where are we? Oh, we must have drifted for miles while we were asleep. What are we going to do? about the rocks by now, Captain Sarah. Yeah, but I can't find them anywhere in the harbour. <gasps> they must have sailed right out. Hello, pirates. See any ships? No, oh, Dad, that's the problem. James and Norman are out there somewhere in the skiff. 
That water may look calm, but it's easy to drift out to sea if you're not careful. I'd better call Fireman Sam. Good boy, Lion. Goodbye, Sandwich. <laughs> James and Norman lost at sea? Two boys are reported lost at sea. Sounds like a job for Neptune. Might be an idea to get Tom Thomas out in his helicopter, sir. Leave that to me, Sam. You can come too, Lion. I'm sure Bronwyn must be wondering where you've got to. If they're out there, Sam will find them. We've got no food, no water. <laughs> what are we going to do, James? Calm down, Norman. They must be looking for us. But the ocean is such a big place. We'll be like a needle in a big, wet haystack! That's the trouble with the sea. You never know what it's going to do. Even though you shouldn't have been out here on your own in the first place, lads. But we were being pirates. Let's get you back to dry land. Thank goodness you are safe. So, do you think girls make good pirates now, Norman? Maybe, Sarah. Maybe who? Maybe Captain Sarah. Oh, Bronwyn, I've got a certain lion who thinks he's the fire station cat. He hasn't been a pest, has he? Let's just say he's better off being a ship's cat from now on. Yeah, fishy breath. <laughs> <laughs> We'll have to lay new trails when the weather clears up, but if we can just keep people off the dangerous paths until we do... Listen, Sam, did you hear that? It's a little bird. Oh, poor thing. It's all tangled up in the wire and looking half-starved. Better get him back to the mountain rescue station. Too right, Sam, and quick smart too, before the rain sets in. going to spot a rare golden eagle if it doesn't get sunny again. I don't think you'll get many golden eagles around here. Of course you do. Didn't you see the picture in the paper? That was in the Highlands. The Highlands aren't that far away. And with wings this big, they could fly down here in no time. As soon as the sun is shining, Mandy and I are going to find one. Ho, ho, ho. Good luck. Oh. Yes! Norman! Norman! Norman Price! Turn that thing off! Huh? Why did you set your alarm clock at the weekend? Why are you sleeping in your clothes? Go back 
to bed. No way. Mandy and I are going to find a golden eagle. They're the coolest birds ever. Bye, Mum. You won't see many birds if you carry on making such a racket. Is Mandy? Hi, Norman. Bye, Mum. Let's go. Hello. Where are you two off to? We're going to find a golden eagle. They have wings. This big. <laughs> exactly. Oh, well, that all sounds very exciting, but you need to be careful. Certain paths are closed because the cliffs are crumbling. So look out for any signs and obey them. We will. Maybe we should take Radar with us, Sam. After all, he is a rescue dog. OK, Mandy. I'm sure Radar would love that. Come on. Shush, Radar. Or you'll scare away all the golden eagles before Norman does. Hello, Tom. Looks like you've got a proper little animal hospital up here. <laughs> Mountain rescue's not just for people, you know. Oh, this little patient's on the mend, though. About time you went back to the wild, eh, mate? I just met Mandy and Norman out hunting for a golden eagle. <laughs> They're not very likely to find one of them around here. <laughs> I know, but try telling that to Norman Price. He always thinks he knows best. <gasps> Over there! Golden Eagles? You probably scared all the Golden Eagles away. No, I didn't. I know what I'm doing. This must be where the path is closed. We better go back. Nonsense, Mandy. Look at the path. Can't you see it's okay? What's wrong with Radar? Maybe he senses danger. Ugh, don't be so silly. He's a dog. A rescue dog? Fetch, Radar, fetch! <laughs> See? Radar doesn't think we should go past the sign. Dogs can't even read, Mandy. I know what I'm doing. We'll be able to see if the path isn't safe. Come on, Mandy. This is the best place to find eagles. They like <laughs> resting in remote places. Look! <laughs> Off you go, mate. Now, mate, stop falling about. You need to get back to the wild where you belong. Shoo! <laughs> you must have been feeding it too well, Tom. Shoo! Leaping wallabies, not again! <laughs> That bird really likes it here, Tom. Uh, mountain rescue's not just for people, you know. <laughs> help! 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 It's no use, Mandy. Nobody can hear you way out here. What about Charlie? He's too far away, Mandy. There's no way he can hear you. Radar? And who's that with him? Oh, no! Emergency? Which service do you require? Oh, um... Uh, 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 Fireman Sam, please! Norman Price trapped on the cliffs! Uh, ooh, this sounds like a job for Mountain Rescue! I'll take the 
Chopper Sam, see you there. But you need to listen carefully to what I say so I can help you. Hello, Tom. We're going to need a double harness down here. No worry, Sam. Come on right up. I'll, I'll make down. OK, Norman. I'm bringing you down a harness. Slip it over your head, Norman, so it sits under your arms. I'm all right, Sam. I've got hold of it. You grab Raider. Whoa! Norman! You need to put this on properly, Norman. Sorry, Sam. I thought I knew what I was doing, but I didn't. Never mind. I've got you now. Take us up, Tom. Ooh! Some nice hot cocoa to warm you up. We were very lucky Radar was there. He's a very smart dog. He even tried to stop Norman going past the sign. Sorry, Sam. I know what you said, but... So, you didn't find a golden eagle, then? No. I don't think you get many of them around here. <whistles> Ah, it's your little friend, Tom. <laughs> so it is. <gasps> wow. I've never seen a bird this close before. Look at its wings. <coughs> Aw, Radar, you scared it away. Radar did that bird a favour, mate. Poor thing needed to go back to the wild, not hang around here and become a pet. Radar really is a very smart dog. Uh, sir, what exactly are we doing? Hmm. Instructions from the fire service HQ. We have to spend the day team building. How do we build a team? Oh, do we make uh, the firemen out of papier mache? <laughs> no, Elvis. We do exercises that will help us work as a team. Oh, what sort of exercises? Touching our toes. Oh, and press-ups. No, Crittington. We're going to build a human pyramid. I've laid the new wood for the jetty, but we really need to fix down the end to stop it breaking away. Okie dokie. We'll do that next, eh? Hey there, kids! Hi, Moose! Hi, Moose! Morning! Hey, Gareth! How's it going? Not very good, I'm afraid. No passengers, eh? Again? What's that? It looks a bit scary. Oh, oh no! And that! Oh, no! I can't look! I don't seem to be getting many train passengers these days. It's a shame, because I just love showing my passengers the beautiful mountains. Huh? Look at this. Pictures and pictures of smudged dots. Oh, brilliant. Something not scary. <laughs> They're not smudged dots. They're photos of the Ponty Pandinus monster. The Ponty Pandinus monster? Yes, a long time ago, people believed that a monster lived in the lake. They would come from all over to spot it. Some saw splashes in the water, and some a black tail, and some heard a strange rumbling sound. Okay, this is definitely scary. 
Those noises were just from the old coal mine, James. Don't worry. <laughs> There's no such thing as the Pontypandiness monster. Tell that to all those visitors. I could do with a few of those passages myself. They all came to see the monster. <gasps> I know how to fill up Grandad's train. Now to put my totally brilliant idea into action. Monster! Monster! It's the Ponty Ponty Ness Monster! Hey! How? Oh, 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 no! Are you sure? What did you see? Tell me everything! I saw splashes! Big, huge, splashy splashes! Then a black tail! And then I heard a strange rumbling! This is great! It really isn't! The Ponty Pandy Ness monster is back! People will want to know about this! Ronwyn! Sarah spotted the Ponty Pandy Ness monster! Charlie, Sarah spotted the Ponty Pandy Ness monster. <gasps> Mom, Sarah saw the Ponty Pandy Ness monster and the mountain lake. Oh, there is no such thing, right, Dillis? Have you heard? The Ponty Pandy Ness monster is back. What's that you say? The Ponty Pandy Ness monster is back. Ooh, and the lake? It will be packed with visitors, yes. Uh, yeah, well, I think that calls for a risk check. Ooh. I'll go! I'll go! <laughs> okay, Crudlington, but remember, it's official business. <laughs> you all right, Penny? <sighs> yes, Sam, but I'll be glad when we finish team building. All aboard! Wait for me, wait for me. I want to see the monster. It, oh, I mean, uh, for official fire service business, of course. She's still not holding. We're gonna need more wood, eh? It worked! My plan worked! I bet I see it before everyone else. Oh, Grandad, are you going to collect more passengers? I will, Sarah. What a splendid day this is. Back soon. Bye, Grandad! What did the monster look like? Did it have big pointy teeth? Where did you see it? Uh, it was, uh, there. Where? Uh, there. Yes, this, there it is again. What the grizzlies is going on? Wait! It's not fixed. The, the jetty's not fixed. Whoa! Whoa. Yeah. We're floating. <gasps> Towards the monster. Oh, dear. Did you hear that? The monster's underneath us. Oh, Trevor. Oops, steady. Oh, Sarah, is that what the monster sounded like? I, uh, uh, I, uh... See? Sarah's putrefied. She knows the sounds of the monster. James! <gasps> oh, no! There's a radio transmitter inside the center. Call Fireman Sam. Okay, everyone, try to stay calm. Fireman Sam will be here in no time. Stranded in the middle of the lake with a ponty pandiness monster lurking below? <gasps> a group of ponty pandy citizens are stranded in the middle of the lake with a monster on the loose. I needed to tie the other end of this rope to the floating jetty. Okay, Sam. Don't worry, everyone. Fireman Sam will tow you back to the shore. Back 
Mercury's not powerful enough. Something must be stopping the jetty from moving. Elvis, hold on to this. I'm going underwater. <gasps> no, no! no. be fish food! Ready, Sam! Team building exercises. We work perfectly together already. We're brilliant, we are. Oh, ma'am, I didn't get to see the monster. I'm sure Sarah can tell us all about it. I didn't really see the monster. I just pretended to. But Sarah, you scared everyone and put them in a lot of danger. I know, Uncle Sam, I'm sorry. I won't ever tell stories again. But, Sarah, why would you say such a thing? I wanted you to have lots of passengers on your train, Grandad. Well, don't worry, Sarah. I forgot how beautiful the mountains are. I know I'll be coming back here again on Gareth's train. <laughs> me too. And me. And us. Well, Gareth, looks like you're going to be a busy guy, eh? <laughs> Hello, Norman. Looking for treasure? Yeah, but all I found is driftwood. Look, I found a fossil. <gasps> it's an ammonite, and it's millions of years old, older than the dinosaurs even. Cool. Shame it isn't a dinosaur, though. There were dinosaurs around here. In fact, some places you can see their footprints preserved in stone, like this. Going to hunt for some dinosaur footprints. Steady on, Norman. You can't go now. The tide is coming in, and you could end up stranded. Oh. Never mind. Here, you can have my ammonite if you like. Really? Thanks, Trevor. <laughs> well, well done, men and <clears throat> woman. The fire is out. But look! <laughs> Don't worry, sir. That's just a dummy. <laughs> I'll get it, sir. Even dummies have to be rescued, Crittington. And sometimes the quickest way to get them out is the good old fireman's lift. Sam will now show us how it's done. Note how a good fireman is always well balanced on his feet. Whoa! <gasps> Station Ow. Officer Steele! Are you all right, sir? Ow! James! Sarah! I've got something I bet you've never seen before. Ooh. What? It's a baby dinosaur. That's not a dinosaur. That's an ammonite. We've seen lots of them. Hmm. You think you're so clever. I bet you've never seen a real live dinosaur. <laughs> of course not. There aren't any dinosaurs anymore. There are two. I saw one on the beach, and I even know where it lives. Do not. I'll show them. Perhaps you should take some time off to rest, sir. You may have torn a ligament. Poppycock! I don't want anyone making a fuss of me. I'll be as right as rain in... Ooh, ooh, ow, oh, I say. Ooh, perhaps I could use a bit of a lie down. It's probably for the best, sir. <laughs> this will work. <laughs> now, back to the beach. Oh, 
twins. I bet the twins think they're real ones. <laughs> Maybe you're too scared. Why would I be scared of something that isn't even there? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. What in the world? Be on the lookout, you two. Keep your eyes and ears peeled. Or a dinosaur? Come on! Follow me. I'm going to catch it. I'm not scared. Norman! Norman! Oh, where did he go? Oh, it's the dinosaur! That's just Norman. Norman, where are you? Norman? James! The tide is coming in! We need to get back! James! Oh, no! Don't believe me. I will. So will I. Norman! <sighs> Phew! Those stairs are hard work with a bad leg. I hope I'm not too late for lunch. Oh, actually, sir, you're a little early. Oh. Lunch is running a bit late. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh. Call me when it's ready. James! Norman! Come out! We have to go back or we'll get trapped by the tide! We need help! Maybe someone will see me from the rocks. I knew there was never a dinosaur. There was. They're just very good at hiding, that's all. <gasps> James! What? The water! We're trapped! Ah! Yes, I saw them a couple of hours ago. I think they were heading to the beach. Well, they're not back. And the tide's in. And I'm going to call Fireman Sam. James, Sarah, Norman, missing? Uh. Oh dear. James, Sarah, and Norman are all missing. Last seen on the beach. Alert Mountain Rescue, sir. Tom can search from the air, Penny and I will search from the water. Okay, Sarah. 
I got you. Well, where are Norman and James? They went into the cave, but I don't know if they can get out. The cave entrance looks flooded, Sam. James? Oh, it's chilly. Don't worry, James. The tide is going out again now. The water's going down. Sounds like you've been leading everyone on a wild goose chase, Norman Price. But even you should know the changing tide can be dangerous. <sighs> Sorry, Sam. And you two should definitely know better. But, Mum, Norman said he saw a dinosaur. Well... It must have been a very old dinosaur. <laughs> I think I found its walking stick. <laughs> <laughs> the perfect lunch as ever, Bronwyn. Thanks, Sam. Oh, here comes trouble. <laughs> you two could do something that wasn't a competition. When Charlie and I were kids, we used to go on nature trails, following tracks, spotting wildlife, fossil hunting. It was great fun. Hey, let's go on a nature trail, Mum. We could ask Mandy and Norman to come too. Sounds like the perfect way to spend an afternoon. Will you join us, Sam? I wish I could, but I'm about to go on duty. Aww. I know. See who can bring me back the most unusual and interesting souvenir. Oh, that could be me! No, me! Not me! Oh. Snap! <coughs> Stop it, Vida! Calm down, boy! Not so loud next time, Elvis. Sorry, <laughs> I can't help it. I get so excited when I win. <laughs> Poor Radar. I wonder why he's being so jumpy today. Perhaps there's something wrong. No, he just needs some bravery lessons by a dog expert. Pity we don't know any. Yes, we do. Me. Come on, Radar. Come on. Radar, come. Oh, no. Well, see, boy. What's up with Radar? <sighs> I don't know. He's been behaving very strangely all day. Perhaps there's bad weather on the way. They do say dogs are sensitive to it. Radar's too sensitive. That's his problem. Maybe he just isn't brave enough to be a fire dog. <laughs> Look at the twins. They're desperate to outdo each other. Hello! Careful, Norman. I don't want you falling in. Hmm. Sam would like this. <laughs> I don't call that very unusual or interesting. And anyway, you'd never get it in your pocket. <laughs> Yay! You'll never beat this, Sarah! It's not a competition. That's not a dinosaur's tooth. It's just an old stone. It's a dinosaur's tooth from a T-Rex, probably. Sam's going to love this. Well, I'm going to find something much more interesting than a silly old stone. Bet you don't. Bet I will. Lightning! Looks like it's over Ponty Pandy. I hope it's not coming our way. 
It's all right, Radar. There's nothing to be scared of. You're quite safe in here. Yes, but what if we need to take him out to an emergency? I think we better leave. We don't want to be near trees if there's going to be lightning. Doesn't scare me. That's not the point, Norman. It's dangerous. The trees could catch fire if the lightning strikes them. Sarah! James! Time to go! Come in, Mum! You won't find anything better. Norman! Oh, did you see that? The lightning struck that tree! Where are the others? I don't know! They didn't wait for us! Mum! Mum! We've got to get out of here! Mum always says if we're lost, we're to stay where we are and wait for her to find us. Not when the fire's spreading! Come on! It's this way! They should be here by now. Look! The forest is on fire! Oh, I'm calling Fireman Sam! <laughs> A forest fire? Sarah and James Jones missing? has stuck in the forest and there's a fire. Two children are missing. We could take Radar. He could help us look for them. I don't think he's up to it. He's too nervous. We've at least got to give him a chance. I'll fetch him. I've called Tom too. He can fight the fire from the helicopter. <laughs> Come on, boy. You can do it. Well done. to the twins so the radar can get their scent. Only their waterproofs. Here, boy. Take a sniff of these. Come on, radar. We need you. We've got to find James and Sarah. Good boy. Mum, we didn't see where you went. 
You were too busy competing with each other, that's why. Yes, but we were together to find our way out of the forest. With Sam's help. And radars, don't forget. <gasps> How about that? He didn't jump. He's been cured. I knew he was brave enough to be a fire dog. Oh, I got you a souvenir, Sam. Actually, it's from both of us. That's what I like to hear. No more competitions. I bet I'm better at not competing than you, James. Uh, no, I bet I am. Oh. Only joking. <laughs> 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 So much safer with a proper fire alarm. No problem, Dillis. <laughs> I'll just give it a test and then I'll be on my way. Oh. Norman, how many more times? Take that football outside. Can't. It's too windy out there. Sam, help! Fire! Fire! <laughs> Relax, Dillis. I'm just testing the alarm. If there's a fire, break the glass with this hammer, but only if there's a fire. Norman! Outside! Shoo! Oh, that ball is going to be nothing but trouble. I just know it. Ugh. It's still too windy to play out there. Norman Price dribbles past the first tackler. Oh, fools the midfielder with a clever dummy. He's going for the hat-trick. He shoots and... do crumbs! Ooh, fire at Gillis's shop. Supermarket Sam, quick as you can. Oh, oh, it just went off all by itself. I can't see any smoke or smell burning. I'm not a detective, but I'd say this alarm didn't go off by itself. <gasps> you mean Norman? Oh, that boy! Something's made a nice mess. Yes, yeah, seagulls, I expect. Perhaps they were hungry. Or it could have been a fox. I've just found a fox den near the mountain rescue centre. Oh, I love foxes. They're so, well, foxy. Animal mad she is. Animal mad. <laughs> That's OK. I am too. Um, see my football anywhere, Mum? I've hidden it. And I think you know the reason why. Why? What? 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 Um, what? What did I do? Did you set off that fire alarm? <gasps> no. It wasn't me. Norman Price. Really, Mum? It wasn't. This alarm must be faulty. You know, new things always go wrong. Well, sometimes, yes. I, I, I bet it'll go off by itself again. Then you'll know I'm not to blame. <laughs> Maybe this'll convince Mum to give me my ball back. Fire at the cut price. 
my supermarket? Oh. See? I told you it was faulty. Can I have my ball back now? There's nothing wrong with that fire alarm, Norman, and you know it. You set it off deliberately. <gasps> no, I didn't. Do you know the story of the boy who cried wolf? No. Why? It's about a boy who kept pretending he'd seen a wolf. He'd cry, help, wolf, and all the villagers would come running. The boy would laugh and say, see, I tricked you. <gasps> then what happened? One day... A real wolf came, and the boy cried out, Help, wolf! But this time, nobody believed him, so they didn't come. And did the wolf eat him up? So they say. I still didn't do it. <sighs> OK, we better get back to the station. See you later, Dillis. Norman, where do you think you are going? You are grounded. Go to your room. Gorgeous. Uh, oi! Shoo! Off with you! Oh, Charlie! I was trying to make friends. I might have known. Price is the limit. Oh, Mum, Sam's not going to come. He'll think I'm pretending again and I'll be gobbled up like that boy in the cry wolf story. We both will. I'm so sorry, Mum. It's all my fault. I set the alarm off. I just wanted my ball back. Oh, Norman! <sighs> oh. Oh. It's Sam! It's Sam! Careful! We'll fall off! Now, Norman Price, enough is enough. It... What are you doing up there? There's a wolf in the shop. Uh, Look! Uh, it's behind the counter. Honest! We're not pretending! That's not a wolf. It's a fox. And it's hurt by the look of it. Oh, poor thing. Get the grabber, Elvis. Oh, Sam! I was so scared. I thought you weren't going to come. We always respond to emergency calls, Norman, even if we think they're false alarms. Don't worry. This won't harm you, little fella. <laughs> Just put a bandage on that back paw and he'll be as right as rain in no time. Sam? Yes, Norman? Sorry for playing cry wolf. I did set the alarm off on purpose. Yes, I know. But well done for admitting it. Keep safe, Norman. 
I don't think Norman will be crying wolf again for a while. Oh, or do you mean crying fox? <laughs> <laughs> Sam, do you have Mrs. Jaws of Life, the firefighter's wife? Uh, ah, there you go, sir. Aha! I win! Oh, I love playing firefighters, happy families. <laughs> oh, oh, what's that, Quiddington? Look, sir, a burst pipe. Great gushing geezers! We have to stop that leak before it gets completely out of control. No problem, sir. Eh. Job done. For now, Cridlington, but you can't stay there forever. Sam, you'd better phone Mike Flood. Yes, sir. Don't worry, Station Officer Steele. I can plug the leak until Mike gets you. Stout fellow, Cridlington. We're all depending on you. <laughs> wow! That is really cool. Nobody snowboards like Billy Bob Blizzard. Bet I could. Ha! In your dreams, Derek. Anyway, I'd be much better than you. You? I don't think so, Norman Price. I'd be brilliant! Well, we'll never know, will we? Because we don't have a snowboard. You're right, Derek. We don't have a snowboard. But we do have my mum's ironing board. What are you going to do with that? You just wait and see. Hello, Helen. It's Sam. I was wondering whether Mike was there. We have a burst pipe at the fire station and we need his help. Sorry, Sam. Mike's out on a job. I'll try and get hold of him. Great. Thanks, Helen. Bye now. Let's hope Mike gets here soon. Well, until he does, Cridlington has the situation well under control. Cooking in the kitchen, dishing out the mash. When this pipe starts spurting with a splish splash splash. Oh, 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 shop, what, oh no, another leak. Uh, uh, there. Phew. Ah, now that's what I call a snowboard. Watch this. Uh, whee! Oh, nice trick. Falling face first in the snow, Norman. Ha, like you can do any better. I can. Watch this. Whee! Pa! You're just going in a straight line. Even my mom could do that. I'll make you an obstacle course. Then we'll see how good you are. Oh. I'm glad I got hold of you. Sam phoned. They've got a leaky pipe at the fire station. No problem. I'll get straight over there. Hey, what's that weird rumbling sound? What is it, Mike? Uh, I don't know, love, but it's getting louder. What? Oh, 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 oh. Mike! I think I'd better call Fireman Sam. Somebody! Anybody! Help! There we are. 
nice and shiny. <laughs> It's Mike Flood. He's in trouble. Sam, Penny, it's Mike Flood. Something's happened to him on the road back from Newtown. Very strange. Did either of you see what happened to Mike? He went that way. He was being chased by a giant snowball. What? Mike could be down there, injured and freezing. We have to get to him, and fast. But that slope is too dangerous for Jupiter to drive down, Sam. You're right, Penny. Only one thing for it. I need a blanket, a rope, a warm drink, and your snowboard, Norman Price. Wow! Look at that! Fireman sounds better than Billy Bob Blizzard! Are you okay? Sam? I'm fine. B -b -b I'm still c c cold. I'm going to lower you down a blanket and a flask of hot tea to keep you warm until we can get you out of there. Penny, it's okay. Mike's not hurt, but he's fallen into a pothole. So we're going to need Tom Thomas to winch him out. I'll put a call out straight away. Right, we're off to do some more snowboarding. Uh, that snowboard of yours, Norman Price, looks suspiciously like your mother's ironing board. She's not going to be very happy about that. Oh, uh, it was his idea. No, it wasn't. It was yours. Well, whoever it was helped me to save Mike Flood. It was mine. No, it wasn't. It was mine. <laughs> Come on, Mike. Let's get you home. Uh, oh, well done, you two. Um, where's Mike? We took him home. He was chilled to the bone. Oh, I thought he was coming back here to fix that burst pipe. The burst pipe? Elvis, I'd forgotten all about that. Don't worry, sir. It, oh, uh, uh, oh. I got it all under control. <laughs> oh, it again. Oh dear. I'm just sleep. Today's training exercise is something I've had in mind for some time. We're going to make a fire on the ground floor of the training tower. Here, yep. to rescue someone on the top floor. There. <clears throat> So, as Incident Commander, I elect Sam to be the Breathing Apparatus Team Leader and Penny as Safety Officer. Yes, yes sir. sir. 
what can I be, sir? Uh, oh, no. I'm not going to be the person being rescued, am I? <laughs> I wish. No, Crillington, you're Sam's number two. You'll all be rescuing Dolly. It's the old training dummy we use to practice our rescues. With a new wig? No expense has been spared. I'm the best at hiding in Ponty Pandy. No way! When I hide, it's like I'm invisible. Ha! It's not. Actually, I think you are both equally good at hiding. So can we stop arguing, please? I know. Why don't we have a challenge? See once and for all who's the best at hiding. What? Yeah! Sarah and James can try and find us. You're on! May the best hider, that is me, win! Don't go hiding anywhere dangerous, OK? One, two, three... Two should be enough, Sam. <laughs> you think I should make Dolly look like she's waving, Sam? It might look a bit more exciting. <laughs> Whatever you fancy, Elvis. <laughs> what a great place to hide. On a boat. I love hide and seek as much as you, James, but Norman and Mandy take it too far. What do you mean? Remember when Norman hid near the mountain rescue centre? He was missing for a whole day. Tom Thomas had to go searching for him. Come on, let's go and search along the quayside. <laughs> I'm going to find a much better hiding place this time. Doesn't she look a picture? <laughs> I think you are getting attached to Dolly. Well, we're all set. Uh, time for a cup of tea, eh? Now that's what I call a hiding place. <sighs> Let's face it, we'll never find them. Yup. We've looked everywhere. Hey! Dad's out fishing! Oh, yeah! Hi, Dad! Ooh. Ooh. Svenny, I hope Lion hasn't fallen asleep under my lobster pots again. Ooh. Well, what have we here? A stowaway! Ooh. I think I'm seasick. James! I think I just found my... Or rather, Dad has. Look! You're right. Hang on. Why is she leaning over the side of the boat? She doesn't look very... Oh! Gross! You should never stow away on a boat, Mandy. It's not safe to go on a boat without a life jacket. What if you had fallen overboard? I'm really sorry, Mr Jones. I was just playing hide-and-seek. Well, play it somewhere less dangerous next time. I will. I promise. Found you! Ooh, thanks, Sarah. Well, it looks like Norman's won the hiding competition, then. we better find him and tell him. Let's hope Norman's hidden somewhere a bit safer than my boat, eh? Yoo-hoo! Have you seen my Norman? He should have come home for his lunch ages ago. It's his favourite. Bready fish bites. We're looking for him too, Mrs Price. We're playing hide and seek. Oh, you don't think he's had an accident, do you? He's hiding. I'm sure he's fine. Call it a mother's instinct, but I think he's in danger. I gotta phone for help right now. You don't think he is in trouble, do you? I hope this exercise goes well. Dolly's relying on us. She's in safe hands, Elvis. Norman Price hasn't returned for his lunch. 
He's hiding somewhere in Pontypandy. We should call Tom Thomas, sir. He can see for miles from his helicopter. <gasps> Good idea, Sam. That means the training exercise can still go ahead as planned. OK, Mandy, is there anywhere you haven't searched yet? Only the fire station. But I don't think Norman would hide there. We'd better check it out anyway. Don't say much, do you? That sounds like Tom's helicopter. I wonder what the emergency is. <laughs> Must be a fire somewhere. I can smell burning. OK, sir. The fire is ready. You can start the exercise. Oh, great! Time to sound the alarm. OK. Let's get busy. Emergency at the training tower. A fire has trapped somebody on the top floor. We'll need Jupiter and Venus on this one. Good luck, team. We'll have you out in no time. Let's take a sweep of the beach. Wait! Oh, no! Look at the training tower! It's Norman! Top Thomas to Jupiter Crew. Look at the top of the tower, Sam. It's Norman Price! What's he doing up there? Help! Elvis, you keep the fire at bay. Penny. Stabilize Jupiter and raise the ladder. Don't worry, Norman. Sam's coming to rescue you. Oh, oh, what did I say? I knew Norman was in danger. Game of hide and seek more important than your own safety, Norman Price? No, Station Officer Steele. We really should have thought before we hid. Oh, uh, but I'm now officially the best hider in Punty Pandy. Well, I suggest you go and hide at home for a while, yes? Yes. You can celebrate by eating the cold, bready fish bites you should have had two hours ago. Eh, okay, ma'am. Ooh. What's up, Elvis? Yeah, we did a great job. But poor Dolly. She didn't make it. Actually, Norman wasn't the only person I carried from the towering inferno. Look behind you. Dolly, you're safe! Oh, you really are the hero next door, Sam. That's what we're trained to do, Elvis. That's what we're trained to do. 